I've helped thousands of Shopify stores rank higher on Google. And in this tutorial, I'm going to pull back the curtain and show you the tips of the trade. These are my secrets in how I help our clients rank so much higher than their competitors on Google that I'm going to give this away to you to help your e-commerce store succeed. This guide is going to be very helpful and it uses a combination of Google Search Console and Ahrefs to show you how you can get those results, how you can set up reporting, and what you need to know in order to take your SEO to the next level. So let's dive into this tutorial. Make sure you like and subscribe this video and share it out to your network because everyone deserves professional marketing services and all of these tutorials are going to help you get that same level that we deliver to all of our clients. Today I'm going to show you how to use Google Search Console for SEO. I'll show you how to set up a report in Ahrefs and also look at the data and find opportunities to optimize pages that can rank a little better. These are similar techniques that we use for our clients that are making millions of dollars a year. And this is how we approach the situation by using data from Google in order to help you optimize better. In this example, I'm going to be using a vaping site that is doing very well in the United Kingdom. And I'm going to go ahead and dive through a couple of those steps. If you haven't set up Google Search Console yet, you're going to want to look at this tutorial. Here's a quick link to that and let's get started. There's no wrong way to do SEO. It's going to be a preference and based on your experience, you're going to find ways to improve your clients or your own website through the use of SEO. When you go into Google Search Console, it can be overwhelming and there's a lot of different points, but I'm only covering optimization in here. So the performance tab is where you're going to spend a lot of time studying what sort of traffic you're receiving from Google. This particular client has a lot of vaping keywords because they are a store located in the United Kingdom. So once you collect all the relevant information about a website or customer, you you have to start segmenting and slicing the data. In this case, I only care about the United Kingdom because those are the results that actually drive sales. And I only care about sales because why else would you be doing SEO? So now that I have this filter picked up, I can play with the date ranges. It can go as far as six months, 12 months. Google is collecting a lot of data, but typically I like to focus between the 28 and three month range because it's the most fresh data. If you're pulling keywords that are further out, you might not even rank for them anymore or you maybe never ranked for them that well. So you wanna have a lens that's focused on what's happening in your fresh results. That's my opinion and how you can get the best results for your SEO. So when you're looking at the queries, these are the keywords you're ranking for in the UK. So this gives you a lot of results. These top ranking keywords will be sorted by clicks and impressions, and this will help you build a strategy, not only for your A, ad strategy, but also for your SEO strategy. So you're going to have to evaluate the keywords one by one, but if you're ranking for thousands of keywords, this can be overwhelming. So I prefer to do the page analysis. There's two ways you can do page analysis. You can do it by the total clicks or the total impressions, which will be selected here. And in this case, I can see where the total clicks are coming from. I don't care so much about the local page because we're not doing any local SEO. I care about the e-commerce page. So I know this particular one, the Joytech is doing really well and is generating a lot of clicks. But when I look at the impressions, I actually have a lot going on for my homepage. There could be more homepage optimizations done in this particular case, but I actually wanna optimize my second best page here, which is also going to be a product page. It's not getting as many clicks as the Joytech page, but it's getting way more impressions. So first, let's just start with the one that's doing the best. All right, so I've reviewed the data and I'm going to go ahead and make a decision. I'm only basing this decision off of the best performing product by clicks. Of course, you're ranking for tons of pages in this case and you wanna go after them one by one, but this is an example of how you can go after the best opportunities in your Google Search Console to get the most results. Oftentimes, the best opportunities are the low hanging fruit, so you wanna go after these first. So I'll go ahead and I'll click now I have a data stream here of the last 90 days. When I turn off the clicks, I can see my impressions have started going up because some optimizations have happened and Google is liking the keywords. So this is good news. When I look at the clicks, 
I can see I'm getting more clicks and I want to draw out more clicks from Google. So after I click this open, I can go into the web page. I see there's only one web page selected. And then I click over into queries. Now I'm ranking for 200 keywords here. Optimizing for 200 keywords isn't realistic because you have so many other optimizations you want to focus on. Typically, I focus on between 5 and 25 keywords, depending on how important a page is and depending on how many keywords optimizations I'm going to move to a specific page in a particular month. There's two ways you can do this, and you should test both because impressions aren't always going to be a good gauge into what kind of results you're getting. So I'm going to go ahead and just do this by clicks because these are the ones that are driving the results. And you can see if I go down to 25, I am getting clicks, tons and tons of clicks for this particular one. Now, one of the pro tips is you can export this data out of Google Search Console into Google Sheets or into a CSV or Excel. So I just want to go into Google Sheets so I can start preparing and cleaning the data. All right, so I just got the data from Google Search Console based off the keywords, and now I'm gonna to wanna to add this into Ahrefs. I'm gonna create a new project, make sure I get the website, and Ahrefs is gonna check that this is accessible. Verifying ownership is optional in case you wanna do a site audit. I'm gonna skip the site audit and I'm going to do the rank tracker, and this is where I'm going to import the keywords. Make sure you select your country. And in this case, I'm only going to select the top 20 keywords because they're generating some results, and I'm going to go ahead and put that into Ahrefs. I'll add that in. Of course, Ahrefs is going to make some recommendations here. And you can add a couple of these, but I want to be pinpoint accurate on these pages. And I'm going to go ahead and add a tag. I'm going to call this product JoyTech. I'm going to click continue. There's a couple of competitors. You can always add these later to see how you stack up against them. And that's it. I'm going to let that run and look at the keywords in a moment while I go ahead and start preparing the next set of optimizations. All right, so I got my number one product by product clicks from Google. Now I'm going to want to look at the next opportunity. I'm looking at my best product by impressions, meaning it's coming up for a lot of keywords, but it isn't getting nearly as many clicks. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this one on. I'm going to look at the results. So clicks look pretty reasonable. It's consistent, but it's not really going up. When I look at the impressions, some things are happening on the average position of the impressions and they're moving around. But really what I'm interested in here is this total impression curve. I can see that it's starting to go up and there's some momentum after these keywords. So let's go ahead and check out what's happening here. I can go ahead and if I really care about this page and I want to know how well I'm ranking for these keywords, I want to look at them by clicks. But if I want to optimize for the biggest opportunity, I'm going to want to look at the keywords by impressions because they probably produce a lot of interest and search volume. So I'm going to do the same thing. Click export Google Sheets. All right, so I got the exported sheet here, but you also have to pay attention that one of the defaults that I've noticed is the clicks is always going to be sorted descending. So you want to make sure you click on your row here and click the toggle and then sort by impressions. Now you're going to have the most important keywords by impressions. Again, I want to see what are the best opportunities. You might want to get a lot of keywords if you have a lot of results, but it's also important to be really focused and help yourself narrow it down. So let's go ahead and copy these keywords. Go back into Ahrefs and you can see it's already tracking the keywords that I entered. Let's click that. Add keywords. United Kingdom selected. I'm adding in these keywords. So I just copy the keywords here and I'm going to add a tag product. This is going to be the arc five. And then I'm going to add these keywords. I'm going to let that run. And now I'm going to have two sets of pages and I'm going to show you how to review that in Ahrefs text. This tool can be overwhelming, but that's why it's important you come up with a tagging system. I usually use product, service, blog, and I have a keyword that helps me understand what I'm looking at because you want to come back to this information quickly. And when you do build out your tags, you're going to have all of this here and you can go ahead and actually just drill down into the joy tech. 
So we just added the Joytech keywords and you can see if we sort by position, we have a lot of keywords here on page one. This is doing excellent. So on page one keywords, position one keywords, there's really not much you can do besides making sure these keywords are in there. But when you go a little deeper, you can see that there's some other keywords I wanna go after. The opportunities are pretty small, so I might wanna use this as a way to track how this page is doing and consider adding new keywords. So once you start adding in new keywords, make sure you're looking at opportunities that have bigger search volumes because these are based off of clicks and they're very, very specific. When I go back into the keywords that I added here, you can see that I'm getting some great clicks. I'm number one and the click through rate is really high on these keywords. So maybe I wanna go in and start adding in a couple more keywords that have some high impressions but lower clicks. But we know that we have this one, vapes that don't leak. Vapes that don't leak. I'm number one on this and there's barely any search volume on it, but I know I'm getting a couple clicks. So I've got great coverage on that keyword. So what's happening on this particular set of keywords, which is looking at the impressions and how we can optimize those impressions. So when I go back here, I can just turn off Joytech and then I want to look at the ARC5. So the ARC5 is a better opportunity because it's ranking pretty well for keywords, but it isn't getting that many clicks. And when you look at the ARC keywords, they have better search volume. So based off of going just after impression keywords, and I have a couple of good positions here. I have page one positions on these keywords, and these are the keywords I wanna start targeting because they're on page one, but I'm not in the top three. So I should concentrate on these optimizations. And when I go a little deeper, there's some other opportunities here that have smaller search volumes, but you can see the big opportunity is going to be the ARC5. The next big opportunity will be the vape box. And these are keywords I want to report on, on massive needle moving keywords, and especially the biggest opportunity, which will be E6, which has 6.6K searches in the UK. And I'm on the bottom 97 results. So I have a lot of work to do in order to improve their results. What's great about this tool is it shows you the evolution over time and it gives you so much analytics that you're going to be overwhelmed in how to scale your SEO. So you should spend a lot of time by reviewing your Google Search Console data and go ahead and make sure that you're finding the best opportunities and the pages that are leading with sales. And you go ahead and you optimize those so you can grow your SEO and you never lose sight of the keyword opportunities because you just did an excellent job setting up Ahrefs reporting and this is what you need in order to be successful at SEO. If you don't know what you're optimizing, if you don't know how to track and if you don't know how to report it, you're just wasting your time. Stop wasting your time. Get started in tracking your keywords and identifying the best opportunities so you can have a map to win on Google search results. Also make sure to download our Google Search Console dashboard. It's going to help you set up your analytics much faster and you get much of the same information here. I can actually see the keywords that I was looking at and also the web pages I was looking at. And I can actually copy that in here and just drop that link in and do only and check it out. I'm going to get the same results down here in the keywords that I want to optimize for. And I can actually export these keywords. So it's 10 times faster if you're using our dashboard. So make sure you click the link here and go visit it and download it so you can start optimizing and seeing the results of your SEO unfold before your very eyes. Check out this video to find out how to do SEO page optimization. You know how to find the data, you know how to report. Now you need to know how you make the optimization stick. Make sure you hit subscribe, hit notifications, and we're making new videos for businesses just like yours every single day.